what is going on guys my name is derek welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to add alerts to your live stream specifically stream elements alerts if you're looking for stream labs i do have a video on how to add stream labs alerts to your stream and how to customize them and all of that with that said let's go ahead and roll the intro and jump right in All right, guys, so as you can see, I have Streamlabs OBS opened up here on my desktop. This works exactly the same in OBS Studio. However, I'm using OBS Studio to currently record this video, the screen recording. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in Streamlabs OBS, but whether you're doing it in Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, it is exactly the same. And what you're gonna wanna do is, once you have your scene set up and your sources, you're gonna have like your webcam, your game stuff, your desktop maybe. You're going to want to click the, the plus button. You're going to want to add a browser source. In Streamlabs OBS, you're going to see it look like this. On OBS Studio, you're just going to click this and see like a list box appear. They're both the same browser source. You want to click that and it's going to ask you for a name. You can call it alerts if you want, or you can call it something else. And then you're going to be presented with this screen where it asks for a URL. It asks for a width, a height, et cetera, et cetera. So where do we get this stuff? Well, let me drag these over to the side here. And let me go ahead and open up StreamElements.com. So we have Stream Elements. You're going to go here. And when you get to StreamElements.com, what you're going to want to do is in the top right, you're going to want to click Login. And you're going to connect with whatever platform you're streaming on, whether that's Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or Trovo. That's who they currently support, Stream Elements. Trovo's in beta, so it might not work exactly perfect. But overall, they're pretty good. So you're going to want to connect with whatever service you're using. I'm going to connect with Twitch just because uh, I think I already have stuff set up with that in order to show you guys. And then it's going to log you in. If you've not used Stream Elements, it's going to want you, you know, to sign up for their service probably. So you might have a couple more steps the first time. But then once you do so and you log in, you're going to come to your dashboard and be presented with your activity feed, your latest followers, like for the month or whatever. Basically, it looks like this. But what we want specifically is right here, streaming tools. There's an overlays gallery where they have free themes, alerts, and widgets and stuff for you to use. Or you have my overlays. We're going to click on the my overlays. And what we're going to do is we are then going to click up here on the top right, new overlay. Once we click new overlay, it's going to ask for the resolution. You can set it to 1440p, 1080p, 900p, 720p, or you can do a custom. 1080p is fine. We're going to hit that and hit start. And then over here on the left, you're going to see add widget. So we're going to want to click this add widget. And right here, you have different widgets. We want the alerts and we want the alert box. So this is a centralized widget for subscribers, followers, tips, hosts, cheers. It might say a little bit different words depending on what you're uh, logged in with, whether you're logged in with YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, whatever. When we do that, all these are going to appear. Follow alert, subscriber alert, tip alert, blah, 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 blah. And then up here, you're going to see copy overlay URL. So we add in this widget. Then we're going to want to save, give it a name. We'll call it my alerts. And then we're going to hit save. And we want to copy this URL right here. And that's the URL we're going to want to put in this URL box on Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. For the width and height, since we did 1080p, I'm going to put in 1920 by 1080p. And then we're going to hit close. And we now have our alert box set up right there. So the way we can test that it's working is right here at the bottom of the Stream Elements website. We have an emulate button and we can do a follower event. Click that. And you can see right here, Belia is now following. It shows the image, plays the sound alert. And then you can drag this to wherever you want. Basically, you know, try to get it to the center of your screen or, or, you know, if you want it top right, top left, whatever. You can also make it larger, bigger, all of that stuff. So, for example, if we move it to the middle and hit follower event. Oh, I forgot to hit save. I'm sorry. If we hit save, now we hit follower event. You can see it's now in the center of the screen here. You can also change the position, size, and style here. So, you can change opacity. You can do rotation if you want to like rotate the whole thing and have maybe you want the words to come uh, down the right hand, you know, and instead of it being across the top or like this, you want it to come like be sideways like this and come down. That's how you add it. So it's working. We can emulate something else. Let's say we can do like a gifted sub. 
Fern gifted Penny a subscription. Boom, you're done. You now have alerts on your live stream. Obviously, you're probably going to want to customize them. So that's what these little gear icons are on the right side of each of these. So for follower alert, for example, we click the gear icon. Here you can set the image or change video. So you can either make it an image or a video. You can do the volume control of the video. So if the video that you play, if you're not using any text, for example, you can clear the sound here like that default ding you hear. So when we hit it, ding, you can change that. You can upload your own sound. You can also adjust the volume of it here. The video volume is if you play a video. So if you change this from an image to a video, if the video has volume, you can play that and clear this sound and use that instead. The layout is how the video or, or image appears with the text. The default is the image is above the text. You can also do the image or video to the left of the text, or you can do the text over top overlaid on top of the image or video. You can also change the alert message. So you can see we use these squirrely brackets with name to get somebody's name to appear. For example, OMG, it's Derek. Would appear is now following or Brett is now following or whatever. But you can also change that is now following to whatever you want. And then you can choose how long the alert duration lasts. The default is 10. You can do a max of 90 seconds. So, you know, if you have a video that's 42 seconds, you'd probably want to set this to 42 seconds or whatever. You can also set a max, max length for usernames. And if a username is longer, it'll be truncated, which means it'll, you know, get the low dots or whatever after so long. And then you can do a uh, custom CSS if you want, but that's not a, a big thing. And then you can also do variation settings. Like for example, the only option you have for follower alerts for variations is randomly. So you could do like, you know, 10 different follower variations and then, you know, have it randomly pick one each time somebody follows, you know, it's not the same one over and over. You can also have TTS if you want to enable it. So it'll say like their name is now following, or this is more useful for donations. You can also change the text font, the bold, the size, all of that stuff, coloring, shadows, strokes, everything there. You even have advanced, you can change margins, everything. And then animation settings is how it comes in. Like you can have it bounce in, fade in, all of that different stuff, how it goes out. And you have a separate for your image video and separate for your text, as well as text appearance delay. That means let's say your image appears, then how many seconds later do you want your text to appear? If you want your text to appear two seconds after your image, you would set two seconds. And same with text disappearance. If you set two seconds, the text will disappear two seconds before the image disappears or whatever. Whenever you're done changing any of your settings, you wanna make sure you click the save button at the top right and you don't have to update your URL. Once your URL is set, you just gotta save and you're good to go. And you can also turn any of these on or off at any time so that if you want to use, like, let's say you don't want to use their tip service, their donation service, you want to use Streamlabs, you could use them for everything else. And then you could use Streamlabs for, for donations or whatever. But anyways, all the same settings, but I just want to show you the variation settings. And so we go to our variation when there's a resubscriber, when month subscribed is at least two, you can, you know, change that one. Then you can also do your own variation. So variation name or start with blank basically is what we'll do. Subbed for nine months, for example. So, and then, then you can choose the variation parameter. So months subscribed, if the exact is nine, you know, again, you can do a chance percentage so you can have different ones for nine, but I do is nine because like, for example, a lot of times if somebody resubs for nine months, a lot of streamers will say, oh, we're having a baby together. And they'll do like some kind of little baby icon and some funny, like, oh, you know, we're having a baby nine months or a, a year, but you could even have like five different variations of the nine months and set each to 20% chance or whatever, you know, and have all those. And again, then you can change all the same stuff, layouts, everything else, text, TTS, all of that. So maybe you only want TTS on special ones you can do that and that is the same with even like your donations like people will sometimes have specific sounds trigger if a specific amount is donated so let's say somebody donates four dollars and twenty cents maybe you have a blunt image come up or somebody smoking blunt like a gif of snoop dogg smoking a blunt and you have like you know a different sound like maybe somebody taking a a rip from a bong or something you know then you can have that and you can set those up those variations for each of those different things and then again you just want to make sure that you hit the save button here and there you have it it is that easy that is how you set up stream elements alerts inside of streamlabs obs or obs studio by adding a browser source and that is also how you edit your stream elements alerts to customize them with different images text animations whatever 
different variations, all of that. And that it's that easy. So hope that helped you guys out. Again, if you're looking at using Streamlabs, I do have a separate video that shows Streamlabs. The how to add it is exactly the same. You copy the URL and add it. But obviously how to change and do different variations and stuff is a little bit different. So if you want to check out that video, just do a search. I'm sure you'll find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button if this video helped you out. Also, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and get subscribed to the channel if you would like to see more streaming help videos, tutorials, reviews of streaming equipment, text products, stuff like that. Uh, we do a lot of that type of stuff, you know, microphones, lighting equipment, cameras, stream decks, beacon equipment, all that different stuff. So make sure you get subscribed to the channel. If you want to find me on Twitch, find any of my live streams, any of my social media, anything like that. The best way to find me is to go to my website, omgitsderek.com, and you can find a link to all of my socials as well as my Twitch page for my live streams and everything else that I am up to. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out, everybody. Later, nerds.